Hello and welcome back to our Surrounded Challenge Norland series. And if you are new to this channel or this series, you can check the description for an explanation of the challenge series and its rules. But of course, I do always recommend going and checking out those previous episodes if you haven't. So in the last episode, we went ahead and conquered Dust Valley. Now we were trying to conquer Treewood, but as you can see, they actually got taken by Stardale first. That's not great. Uh... Mainly because what that means is we have a harder time now of surrounding Stardale. It's almost as though they knew that this is what we we're trying to do. So we're actually just going to send Elsa to go and re-demand Vassalage. They're probably going to end up denying it now. But we really need to take over Treewood if we want any hopes of surrounding Stardale here. Which I think is a little more of an interesting way than just taking out uh, Stardale as a whole. Um, it gives them a little bit more time because, as you can see, they have 39 soldiers, although some of them must be on campaign, I think. Yes. Actually, wow, that is a bigger squad than I thought. I thought they had something like 52 soldiers. If that's not being included, if this squad isn't being included, then they have an actually much bigger force. But either way, you can see they have an average of 4 combat. We have 32 soldiers with an average of 7 combat. So if they if they don't get their stuff together, this could be kind of a steamroll uh, before too long. Now I haven't been dealing with knowledge too much um, for a little while, or well, I've been slacking on it, I guess I should say, uh, and that's just because we don't really need anything anymore. We don't really even need peasants' house. I'm not really sure why I decided to pick that up. Uh, it's it's okay. Now, longevity, they actually changed this so that each individual lord actually needs it. So we're going to actually, we'll, we'll take, you, oh, uh, you already have it though, right? Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. Lyra can learn that. Uh, it's probably not going to matter, but I think that's more important than like peasant's house at this point. So we'll, we'll go ahead and go with that. And then we are going to move this warehouse, uh, and we might even just get rid of it entirely. Uh, let's see. Is there a good place that we could maybe put it? Um, I guess we could just... We, we have plenty of workers and everything, and if we get rid of the warehouse, that's just like three workers that won't be doing anything. So we'll just move it over here. Probably a better area. And then we can go ahead. Maybe more hops, probably. And we'll just place that right here. Looks good to me. Now we do have this pig farm as well that needs to be built. We're going to set that to build first. Um, we do, however, need this lumber mill to get upgraded. So actually, hold on. Set that to build first and we'll just wait. Now another thing we're going to do, since we do essentially have more medical cells than we are probably almost ever going to need, I mean... Maybe we need a few more, but we're just going to set this down to 90. If we need more, we can always start creating them again. And this way, all of our herbs will just be getting used on flavorful ale. We're also going to take the beer off, because as you can see, we've got a nice stock now of flavorful ale. So there's no real need to be uh, having beer, except, I suppose, uh, just the fact that our peasants may not have enough for it. Flavorful ale does cost 10 we could always lower it a little bit, or we could just raise the peasant wages again. Um, they have a current wealth of three, and we've got so much money, I know we just turned this down. But I'm actually going to turn it up, and I might turn it up by two. So every peasant and every warrior makes seven. And we may even make it so that if we have unemployed people, they'll get paid two. They, they can get paid six. And that's 686 wages. Obviously, we are doing just fine on money at this point, so... Uh, adding on our taxes, this may be a little bit... This may be a little bit much, but at this point, you know, we have money to throw out things. And I th another thing we're going to do here is... We're going to hire this guy. He's got a 13 uh, combat skill, and wait, hold on. He's going to be 26 tax. That's not bad at all. That works fine for us. Now lastly, over here we are going to take this paper workshop and we're going to move it somewhere over into our little production area here. Um, probably just right here is fine. And we've already gone the workers set back up. 
Uh, instructions are outdated, okay. And we'll go ahead and upgrade it as well. Now as far as production goes, if we are going to make the paper, that will use up our tools and some wood. Uh, but we aren't using wood on coal now. And we have plenty of light armors actually. Uh, we can... We'll, we'll be okay if uh, not too many of those get made. So we're just going to set this paper amount up to maybe 50? Maybe, maybe 30. Let's go with 30. We'll start there and see what happens. Now as you can see, after Till and Amrower's duel yesterday, they are now not so hateful of each other. They, they don't uh, love each other that much, but Amrower has a good opinion of Till, and I have no idea why that's flickering. I'm not actually moving the mouse or anything, so that's just doing it on its own. But anyways, I guess that's just part of the update that is going to uh, be causing some issues. Now, as far as demanding vassalage goes, they refused our offer. Not too surprising. Um, now the real question here is, is anybody sending reinforcements? I'm sure they will. Is this them? No, that's Elsa. Uh, looks like maybe these guys are. Nope, returning to hometown. Okay, well, either way, I guess we're gonna go ahead and send our attack. Oh, we can't... Yeah, I can't summon them. That's okay. We'll go solo, and we'll send Lyra, of course. Now, do we want to leave just a couple of soldiers back? Maybe, maybe this many? Maybe even this many, just to overwhelm any amount of crime that might be uh, trying to run rampant while we're gone. I don't think we really need the spears, because these guys may have armor. Uh, so we'll just add, again, four bows. I think that's fine. Now that's 83%, hopefully it stays that good. Uh, if they do get reinforcements, that could be a little bit dicey. Especially if they get them from Stardale here. We'll just have to see. They're getting five, it looks like, from somebody over here, I guess. Alright, now one of our hop fields did get done, so we're going to set that to this chancellery. And at that point, our chancellery is full now. So the only way that we can add more uh, people or more management is if we have either Cormon do it, uh, and that's probably what we'll do. Or we could start setting up that other chancellery, but either way we're going to need Cormon for that, or we're just going to be using a whole bunch of paper on instructions, which we could actually do, but I would prefer not to actually spend that much on it. So we're going to put Cormon onto this warehouse for now. Which I don't even know, do we really? The only real reason that it's needed is just to supply these taverns. I don't know if it's that critical or anything, but we'll, we'll leave it for now. As you'd see, Lyu's vet is now 17 years old. So I think, because today is day 57, and he turned 17 on day 56. So I think tomorrow he should become an adult, and then we'll probably just send him to the church. That should help our uh, relation pretty decently, I, I would hope. We'll have to see, though. And just a little update here. Uh, it looks like they may just be returning back to Stardale over here. So they're probably going to end up trying to send a uh, force over that way, but it's going to probably be too late. We'll have to see. I'm a little worried, actually, because they may have... Do we have army... We just have the first uh, military logistics, so we're a little bit faster, but if they have this one, they might be able to beat us. That's going to be a little bit scary if they send that army. Now, we do have some more soldiers that we can go ahead and pay for. We'll just pay for the Macaw ones as usual, and we'll call that good. Now, back here in the city, we're going to go ahead and upgrade this armor forge again. Might as well. We're just kind of throwing resources at everything that we can. Anything here that we can upgrade, we're just going to go ahead and do it. None of it's super, super important. I don't even, we're, we're not going to worry about the alchemy lab. We may never even end up really using that again. Is there anything else? Uh, no, I don't think so. Is there anything new that we can build? I don't believe so, right? Uh, smelting furnace, we have that placed, but just not built yet. Okay. 
and of course the pig farm. I would actually like to get that set up, but it's not going to matter because we don't even have any rutabaga fields. We could set one up. Maybe we should have done that for this one. Let's cancel this and go here and we'll place a rutabaga field instead. 60% fertility, so we can actually start replacing probably all, almost all of our rye fields with that, except maybe just keep this one down here. And I never did make that road, apparently. I thought I did. Oh, wow. That is some great draw skills there. And we'll just surround it. And still doing great there on the the drawing. There we go. And maybe we should just connect it back over here as well. Oh, and I'm using the wrong kind of road. Wow, what am I doing? Is it Darkstone? Is that the one we're using? No, it's not. Uh, is it Brightstone? Yes, okay. Totally, totally uh, doing great here. Alright, and now that that's fixed, there. Much better. Now, of course, there's all this empty land. Maybe we should try to make use of that at some point, but we'll just have to see if that's going to be a thing we actually have to do. Now, we do have that battle finally ready, but we also have shields done, so we're going to go ahead and look and see if there's anything else. We could have Kieran go on to Peasant's House, or, of course, Longevity would be another good option. Is there anything that only Elsa has? I think we've pretty much already dealt with everything. Um, yeah, I don't think there's really anything else that we need to worry about. I guess we'll just have him go to the peasant's house, even though we're probably never going to end up actually using it. Um, and Odnetra, maybe, maybe just have her write a book. We have the paper for it now. Oh, we could have people learn Tanea, just for the heck of it. I don't know, maybe we just... Let them do their own thing now. We don't really need any of that knowledge. And we'll go ahead and hop into this battle. So, what's going on here? Wow. Okay, yes, they have 11 soldiers. They have no tower. Alright, um, I'm not even going to worry about doing any orders. We're just going to run right on in. This is... I probably could have just auto-resolved this, honestly. Maybe we'll lose somebody? I'm not really expecting us to lose much, if anything. Oh, they're going straight for our archers, that's kind of funny. Yeah, that was, uh... Not, not the best resistance. They did take out three of ours. Did they die, or did they just... Yeah, one died, okay. And we'll get a whole 40 tribute from them, wow. Game changer that there, huh? Now we'll go to Moon Realm and we will demand vassalage from them. Elsa can take care of that, of course. And Stardale is now looking... Wait, hold on. Wait, mess that up. We don't want to go for Moon Realm. We want to go for Great Mist, actually. So we'll cancel this. Cancel. Great Mist. Demand vassalage. There we go. We could even just do enchantment first. Do we want to do enchantment first? Eh, I don't, I don't think it's going to matter, really. They may try to go for enchantment, but either, either way here. We'll just, we'll just go for a Great Mist first. Now, I probably should have been thinking about this before. But with the, our temples, based on how many soldiers we have, we normally have 31. And we're about to have 34-ish, and then add that to... The amount of peasants, that's 100, 112, plus 2, 4, 6. I'm not sure if the kids actually get counted, so we'll just count them at 9. Uh, so that's, right now, at least probably 121 when we include the prisoners. When the prisoners aren't there, it's only 109, but that still means we actually need another church. Maybe this will, is this gonna work? No, dang, okay. I was hoping that spot would work. Um, let's see then. We'll just place it right here, maybe? Yeah, we can place it here and mostly have... Hmm... It's not the best spot, really. 
But I don't think we have a better one, so we'll just we'll just place it here. And as always. Wrap around. Just like that. That's probably the best we can do. We should probably also place at least another Lord's House. And today it looks like we get a couple more macaw uh mercenaries. We do have a decent amount of loyalists, actually. That's nice to see. Okay, as you can see, Stardale is making its move. They are trying to go for Dust Valley. Now, we don't want to send a full army here. What we'll probably do... Go ahead and send aid. Not Lyra, though. We're going to send Unetra. And we won't send... How many are they planning to send? Uh, well, 36 if they send their whole army. Okay, um, we may wait for some of these new soldiers to get here, and then we'll actually worry about that. Try to split split up our army uh, to a decent extent. Okay, a little bit of uh, good news. Lyra's vet actually became Macaw again. So maybe we will actually keep him. Maybe, I'm not sure what we would actually do with him, though. I think we have to still send him to the church. Okay, so one thing I am thinking is we need hops, and we're just not growing enough of them now. Starstream does kind of hate us, but of course we can... Oh, he doesn't even like us enough for this. What if we restore relations? That's going to cost nine. Uh, they don't possess diplomat right. Okay. We'll have to send... Elsa to go ahead and do this then, and that's going to be what? Hold on. That's going to be... Oh, we're going to have to send some of our flavorful ale, and it's only a plus 11. Can we scrape up some extra? Okay, we'll send... We'll send Amrower to do it. That'll be plus 16 at least. Um, and... With Lyra back, we can go ahead and start focusing here on Dust Valley. I think what we're going to do... Some of these guys need to, well, just this guy can't move, so he needs to take some medicine. We'll probably send Unetra to take care of this one, because I don't even know if they'll end up sending the attack once we um, reinforce it. Go ahead and take all these soldiers off all we want. We want you, 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 you. Definitely you guys. And we want some of these. Probably not that guy. We want you, you, definitely you two, and probably you as well. Alright, who else? We'll just pick up these three. Okay, we want probably two more. Alright, this is probably good. Now the reason I'm trying to be so careful is because we want a decent contingent force that we can go and use to attack. Um, or even if they decide to attack us at our city by some... A crazy chance, then we want to be able to defend as well. We're not going to send any bowmen. That seems good to me. Okay, here we are at the trader, and we will have to remember to send Amrauer over to do his diplomacy uh, in a second as well. But we're going to go ahead and sell all these, sell all these, sell all of those. We still have... Uh, 16 warriors in the city, so we're going to pick up a few extra maces. We're going to... Should we maybe... We don't want to sell those, but we do probably want to sell a bunch of these light armors. I would prefer to start a trade route for these, but at least for now we need a little bit of money back. Otherwise, um, we do need hops, and we may just go ahead and buy those here. We don't need the rye. Do we need anything else from this tab? Probably not. Okay, happiness of prisoners. Oh, speaking of which, we'll just go ahead and throw these in as well so we know exactly how much money we're going to have. And it looks like we're going to have a good chunk of change again. And we're probably ready to sell some of this stuff. We want to keep longevity. Uh, let's see, heavy armor we're studying, archer tower we're still studying, that we're still studying, 
wearing armor we're studying, crossbows we're studying. Okay, so shields we got done with. Cooking meat I think we got done with. Peasant's house we're still studying. We're done with that. We want to keep that, okay. I don't think there's anything here that we particularly care about. Maybe macaw trade? I don't think we have that, right? We do want to start some, at least some uh, little trades. Oh, we need to buy some things. We'll go ahead and buy some holy rings and there's not really anything else. Maybe we should just bring back this book for now then. All right, let's make sure that we don't have macaw trade already. It's kind of hard to remember sometimes which ones we all have. So macaw trade, we do need. Okay, so we picked that up now, macaw trade, and we'll just have, what was Kieran on? We'll have Kieran. Uh, I don't actually remember, what did we put him on? Kieran, he's not learning anything. Oh, but he doesn't, He do oh, he's a Varn, that's right. So he can't actually learn that, okay. Um, I guess we could just... Have you do it? Yeah, we'll have Lyra do that, and we will have Kieran go on to longevity. There we go, and I think that's where we're going to call it. So, of course, we are going to be defending Dust Valley in the next episode. We'll also probably have to attack Great Mist in the next episode as well. We'll go ahead and... We're going to restart this because for some reason Amrower didn't go and do it right away. Uh, so, improve relations, offering to King... And Amrower. Alright, and so yeah, that's going to call it. And we are getting closer and closer. I think in the next two episodes or so, we're going to be having a major standoff with Stardale. And whatever happens there is going to decide just about how much longer this series may go. But I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.